Hi, this is Carl Cowley with Computer and Electronic Services. When people buy LEDs from us, they typically come in packages like this. Here's a 10 millimeter, and it has two pieces of heat shrink tubing in it. A 5 millimeter LED comes with one piece of heat shrink tubing in it. And these are typically used on our Fading Eyes product. And um, so I want to show you what you do with the heat shrink tubing. The fading eyes comes with a cable like this for the LED to be pushed into. So I'm going to dump out my LED and the heat shrink tubing. I'm going to look at this LED. You'll notice the longer lead is positive, the shorter lead is negative. If you look inside there, um, I don't think you can see it on the video, but inside there's kind of a bigger flag and a smaller flag. On this LED, the smaller flag is the positive, so I kind of remember that. Then I'm going to cut this off right about there. So now I've got my LED. I'm going to push it in with the positive going to the white lead and now it's ready for me to slip the heat shrink tubing over it and I like it to go over the collar a little bit um, usually almost up to the top of those two little flags that are inside there then we use a hobby heat gun used typically for embossing and things like that in crafts um, these can be purchased all over. This is a Martha Stewart model that was purchased at Walmart, but you can get them all over the place. So, other ways of doing the heat shrink tubing are using a match or a, a lighter or rubbing the uh, tip of a soldering iron along it to shrink it. But hobby heat guns are a little bit uh, nicer to use. And they're not as hot as the industrial heat guns that are used, made for uh, stripping paint and things like that. So you'll notice there that that shrunk nice and tight around that LED it's it's around that collar so now it's in there good and tight and this is ready to go um, next I'll show you how we do our uh, 10 millimeter ones because they're a little bit trickier with the 10 millimeter LED come with three pieces they come with three pieces of heat shrink tubing and we put one on and shrink it down and then to make it a little bulkier we put another piece of heat shrink tubing over that and shrink it down okay now we're ready to add our LED to this. So looking at the LED again, short lead is negative, long lead is positive. Kind of have to keep track of it. And cut that off. And the positive goes to the white, so that's going to go in there. And we put those other two pieces of heat shrink on because this one doesn't shrink down quite that much, so it helps to fit it on there better. So we go across there and shrink this one. So now that LED's in there good and tight, and uh, it's ready to go. And, uh, if you ever need to replace them or you want to change, put different LEDs in there, you can just cut this heat shrink tubing off and put in a new LED and uh, change that out. Um, hope that helps you with your questions on what to do with the heat shrink tubing that comes with our LEDs. Thank you for your time.